y'all welcome back to my channel my name is El Chanel if this is your first time here and today's video is gonna be me doing a then and a now look um, I'm gonna put the picture right in the corner of this video so you all can see what be what picture that I'm redoing <laughs> so um, this picture was back in 2015 um, and I still do have the makeup palette that I used um, it was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Couture Palette. Sweetie, I don't know what I was thinking by not using a lip liner, not putting on the proper lashes. I just, I just ain't know no better. I ain't know no better. But I still have the hat that I, um, I wore in that picture. So um, I'm gonna wear that because I just, I just stumbled upon it recently and if you know me you know I don't really get rid of a lot of stuff so um, I was so excited when I got the hat because I was so thirsty to be a MUA and yes so um, but we're gonna talk about my whole journey of being a freelance makeup artist and everything like that but first make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video Okay, so for primer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. matte putty primer, and um, then I'm just going to jump into my brows. And I know more than likely when I did this look, I probably used makeup on my forehead, but now when I wear hats, I don't put makeup on, or scars. I don't put makeup on my forehead. I'll do my brows, and that'd be it. I don't be doing the whole forehead because there's no point because you're going to cover it up. For bronze, I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. For my concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm using my favorite brush by Wet n Wild. Um, I love this brush to do my brows with. I don't remember the name of the brush, but it's, the, it's like the skinniest brush. So if you go and find the Wet n Wild brushes and it has like an oval tip, you got your brush. This is gonna be my base, so I'm just gonna use this all over my lid. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna finish the other brow and the other eye, and then I'm gonna come back on, and we're gonna get into these eyes. Okay, so did my other brow, did the other eye, and I zoomed in so you all can see how I'm gonna do the eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge and blend this out first, and then we can work into the eyes but you want to make sure that you don't have any creases before you get to putting on your eyeshadow so my first shades that I'm gonna use um, for this look is gonna be kind of you know I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use I'm gonna use different palettes <laughs> uh, to achieve this look cuz I don't I don't even remember what purple I used but I'm going to use this brown for my transition shade. That's going to be my first shade. And then I'm going to use this purple. That's what I'm going to do. So I want to talk a little bit about my journey as a freelance makeup artist. Yes, I still freelance. Do I do it as much? I can't say that. Um, I've been through a lot of stuff. You know, from 2015. Honestly, I was doing makeup before that picture. So from 2012 
I started, you know, I started doing makeup around like that 2012 mark, like around then. Um, and I was doing makeup in my room at my mama house. And I had been through so much because I wanted this so bad. Um, I wanted to do makeup so, so bad. And um, I invested in my own kit. And I would use BH Cosmetics. That was my first palette. And um, so, you know, BH Cosmetics is still out. And if you want to start your kit, then I, I suggest, you know, use BH Cosmetics because they, they, they've gotten even better now. So, but the, um, that was my first palette. And um, I was just really, really excited. What I will say is like the clients, the people that you come across, these IG famous people, they will turn you off. And <laughs> I could say I've definitely gotten turned off from doing makeup. Um, people seem to think like they're People seem to think that you're supposed to run to them when they need an artist, and that's what I don't like. Um, I'm not a person that can just hop up and go. No, I don't have any children or anything like that, um, but I'm not a per I need to know in advance when I should be prepping for somebody to do their makeup. Like a lot of people I notice on IG, they'll say, I need a I need an MUA right now. Tag them. No. It'll never be me. I'm never running to do nobody makeup. Period. So, I appreciate the people that, you know, want their makeup done, want to pay their deposit, want to, you know, not be on their phone <laughs> while you're doing their makeup, not screaming, not smoking, while you're doing their makeup, blowing smoke in your face. Um, cause I've had that too. And that was a celebrity that did that. Cause it, it be, it be those, those be the people that treat you the worst. <laughs> that don't have no respect. And then won't they make up done for free? For promo. That's another thing. Get your money. Get your money. I know like some things you should do for free. You know, I had a, a huge hairstylist that I used to work with. Um, he told me that, you know, L, um, I remember one time he pulled me to the side. He was like, I told you, you're going to have to do some paid stuff and some promo stuff. And what I can say is, looking back, I mean, I got their pictures on my page. That's it. But some of these girls that got it, walking out in Chanel bags. They ain't even tipping. So, yeah. There's that. So, um, I just appreciate the people that respect my artistry and that respect me and respect my time because those people will play with your time too. It'd be a lot of people playing with your time. So, you know, what I could say throughout this journey is it's been trial and error, trial and error. Like, <laughs> man, y'all have no clue. Um, so that's honestly the reason why I do want to pour into myself and I chose YouTube to pour into myself and be my own brand. Cause I've already, man, I've already kind of been my own brand. I mean, El Chanel Beauty is a brand. Um, but what I will say is that Lauren, because that is my name, Lauren has integrity. And I cannot, I cannot let people just treat me any old kind of way. I cannot just hop when the next IG famous person wants me to do their makeup. I just can't do it. I'm not, I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. I used to do that. I did. I drove an hour and a half away to do y'all favorites <laughs> y'all favorites but no would never do it again you gotta come to me i don't even really like traveling 
I mean, a, a, a wedding, yes, I could see, you know, you need somebody to travel, a photo shoot, yeah. But I'm not, just cause, no. <laughs> I could go on and on, and on and on. Um, let me, I'm about to take this purple and I'm about to start working that right under that brown. So my advice is pick and choose, rather I would say pick and choose when you feel that it may be beneficial to you to do promo work. But if they really, really, really like you like you, and respect your artistry, they're gonna promote you and they're gonna pay you, period. They're gonna promote you and pay you. And what I will say to my future, you know, or my aspiring MUAs, watch out for the girls that wanna be your friends, that wanna play in makeup, watch out for them. Cause they don't really, they not really trying to be your friends. They just want to use you so that you can do their makeup. But they will pay artists that have a bigger following. So watch out for those. Cause I done came across a few out here in Atlanta. I'm going back in with that brown, just because I feel like that purple kind of, kind of took over, kind of took over. It showed up and showed that. And I'm just lightly dusting that right over. And I'm gonna go back in with that purple just a little bit. But I just feel like YouTube is gonna really take me to the places that I wanna go. I wanna eventually have my own booth at BeautyCon in LA and New York or speak on the stands and tell my story about how I really, really wanted to be a freelance makeup artist and I made that happen for myself and I put in so much money into my kit and I made it happen for myself. And I've been through so much, so much in this life <laughs> and as a freelance makeup artist I remember when um, and I'm gonna say this because it's a part of my journey I remember um, when I was doing makeup in my in my room at my mama's house and um, her husband at the time I don't know he just had it out for me y'all I do do feel like he had it out for me and she will probably still disagree to this day but he started saying that <laughs> and I was just young and just trying to make my money and just trying to do what I love he would say that me having um, clients over would make him feel uncomfortable he would feel uncomfortable with me having clients over and as a grown man, I don't know how I could possibly see how young girls can make you feel uncomfortable, but your mama lived down the street and you could have went to your mammy house <laughs> if you felt that uncomfortable because you should be wanting me to get money. You should want to respect my hustle. You could have did anything, got out the house. It don't take that long. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not. Man, I went through so much. Like, I couldn't even do clients. <laughs> couldn't even get my money. Had to figure it out. So yeah, I would struggle with that. Sometimes my mama would let me do it. Sometimes she wouldn't, just depending on really how he felt. So, yeah, I just, I'm happy that's over. <laughs> I am, ain't gonna lie. Sorry, ma. But I'm happy. So anyway, let's get into this shade. Now, I know I use this shade. I know I use this shade when I did this look. It's called Anaconda 
by the artist palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm going to use my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to apply that on with my finger first and then I'm going to apply the shadow with my finger. That's my favorite thing to do when I'm doing um, shimmer shadows. I like to apply it with my finger. And shout out to Role Model in Chicago on the motherfuckers outside of Chicago. She gave me this idea. Um, I love her channel. I, I love her personality. And she inspired me to do this video. So if you're not subscribed to Role Model's channel, make sure you go and subscribe to her channel. Um, because that is where I got this idea to do a then and now, the glow up <laughs> video. So now that that's on my eye, I'm about to go in with Anaconda. This green is so pretty. I honestly love mixing green and purple together. I don't know why. Definitely giving me, definitely giving me um, Barney vibes. But <laughs> oh well. Okay, so now that I finished both eyes, I'm gonna go in and use my NYX Black Matte liquid liner and I didn't use a liquid liner when I originally did this look but I feel like looking back it needed liner so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start doing my concealer and then foundation that's what I'm gonna do For foundation, I'm gonna use a Maybelline Super Stay foundation in the shade 362 Truffle. To blend out the edges of my concealer and on my forehead, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. Um, this is the Instatop, Instapop brush. And just work that in. Now when I blend out my concealer under my eye, I do use the sponge to get like right in that little, in the crevices, you know? Right in there right under there My, for my setting powder, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Loose Powder in the shade Medium Deep 
30. It's a loose finishing powder, but I use it to set my concealer. Shout out to Lyric Dollface. Um, because, um, shout out to I Am Lyric Dollface um, because she put me on this powder. She from Chicago too. Shout out to my Chicago girls. Shout out to my Chicago girls. Those are the ones that I love to watch the most. I'm just dusting off the excess powder with my Morphe M438 brush. To contour my nose, I'm going to use Earth by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know what I'm going to do when this run out. Because I'm sure I ain't going to be able to find it. But then again, I ain't tried to look for it. For my face powder, I'm gonna use Dark Deepest by MAC, and I'm just gonna apply that right in here. I'm gonna use that brown that's in the Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna use that for my contour shade. Now I'm gonna add in this purple liner by Urban Decay. It's called Vice, um, and it's a 24 hour um, makeup pencil, eye pencil. <laughs> it's a 24 hour eye pencil. And I'm just gonna pop that into my water line right here. And then I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Primer Stick and I'm just gonna glide that onto under my lash line because I want that green, that same green that I use on my lid, I want that to like really pop. So that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all, I was just thinking like if I really would have pursued YouTube when I was watching YouTube back then, back in like 2015, I would have been so much more further, but you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, you, you just gotta trust God's timing. This is my Morphe M514 brush. I'm gonna use my MAC 3D Black Dimensional, Extra Dimensional Mascara and put that right on my lashes. When I looked at that picture, I would've had no mascara on, on my bottom lashes. <laughs> Girl, what was you doing? Let's talk about growth. So I'm gonna just finish the other eye and then I'm gonna come back with my lashes that I'm gonna put on. Okay, so I, um, I'm gonna use these lashes. I actually bought from Amazon and I will link them in the description box below. Um, I already put my glue on it. Now, when I say <laughs> my lips in that picture was looking a mess, a mess, a real mess. <laughs> I couldn't believe myself. I feel like I should have known better back then, but 
clearly I did so for my lip liner I'm gonna use chestnut by Mac I'm gonna use dip lips and tips high achiever um, make sure you go and support it's a black owned business and I love this lip color I'm gonna apply my shine by dips lips and tips okay y'all so this is the finished look I do not remember where I got this hat from so don't kill me um I wish I did I wish I could tag her I do remember it being a black owned business I do remember that I found her on Instagram like years ago back in 2015 so anyway I had so much fun recreating this look and kind of like telling you all a little bit about my journey as a freelance makeup artist and um what I want to say to anybody that's, you know, aspiring to be a makeup artist, just keep going for whatever you want. You know, you never know how your journey may be. Just keep going. Um, I wish, looking back, um, I wish that I would have told the younger me to keep on, you know, pursuing YouTube because I feel like that would have been more more reputable like I feel like I would have made a hell of a lot more money um and been a lot further but you never know you know why your journey is the way that it is I could say what I will say is that um I learned a lot and my journey has made me a lot more stronger amongst all of the other things that you know has happened in life in my life period but this it just taught me so much from working um for makeup lines i've worked for bobby brown when i first started in downtown chicago on state street and macy's um <laughs> let me tell you when you work in downtown in chicago you gotta have some tough skin because you're gonna get all types of people different races just different attitudes like you know it prepared me for everything that has happened um and now I still do freelance for Mac um, and I still do my freelancing on the side um, of course I've been you know um, more and more into YouTube but I still gotta make my money I'm still not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it down <laughs> not gonna do that <laughs> but anyway so yes um, and I just want to tell you all just to keep on keep on reaching for whatever that you want to whatever goal that you want to get to just keep on doing that and um so i hope you all love this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share my video um and yeah so that was then this is now this is the glow up this is how i do makeup now in 2020 so will you say that the glow up was real let me know in the comments down below if you feel like the glow was real and um yeah <laughs> let me know what you think about this look so i'll see y'all in the next video bye